Well, the Department of Homeland Security announced today a partnership between Team Rubicon and Wisconsin Salvation Army. Now, that partnership is to coordinate clothing donations, which helps which is one of the biggest challenges for Fort McCoy right now, ensuring that Afghan evacuees have the right clothing to wear for the change of seasons. News 19's Joe Minnie was in Sparta for that announcement. Nearly 13,000 Afghan guests are staying at Fort McCoy, many without basic necessities like changes of clothes. As many of them fled with only the clothes on their back, and very few belongings, there is an immediate need for winter clothing and shoes. Team Rubicon, a veteran-led organization, has stepped up to manage distribution of clothing donations. We consider this to be a humanitarian crisis, so um, operationally it's moved smoothly, um, and that's because we have a lot of dedicated volunteers here that are truly about helping people on their worst day. Teaming up with Wisconsin's Salvation Army, the flow of donations through the Sparta Army National Guard Armory can be streamlined. Initially, the need, uh, we didn't have any idea of the number of individuals that would be coming to Wisconsin. Now it is in the thousands, so that need is great. We need uh, clothing for the winter. We need new items. We need uh, items for children, especially we're looking at shoes. With winter on the horizon, processing the right kind of clothes when the post needs them is even more important and new clothes makes that process more efficient. If we get a bag filled with assorted clothing, we have to sort through that clothing and then catalog it and then decide what we can use or not because people have different ideas of what a good piece of used clothing is. So it's a matter of expediency that we're asking for new clothing. But that doesn't mean we're gonna turn away gently used like new clothing. It's just, it makes it easier for everyone if the things are new. Team Rubicon and Salvation Army working together, helping our Afghan guests move forward on their American journey. In Sparta, I'm Joe Minney, News 19. Team Rubicon estimates that they process and send off 20 pallets of clothes, clothing that is to Fort McCoy every day. Now, Salvation Army has four centralized super sites in the state four drop-offs. That's La Crosse's North 8th Street location. That's one of them. Now, if you want a specific list of items that they need, you can find it on our website when you look up this story.